Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is gonna be about Greenlandic names and their meanings. So it was really interesting looking for our Greenlandic names and their meanings because it made me realize we have a lot of Greenlandic names that doesn't really have meanings. They're just, you know, like my name, Melu, it doesn't mean anything. But once, I don't know, I can't remember, but I've been told my name in a boy's name is Melik, which means wave. So I always been told that my name means a wave, but I don't know. Or maybe it's from Denmark, you know, Melu with O-U in the end. So, you know, it's been a bit difficult to find our Greenlandic names and especially the ones with meanings because actually most of us, our name doesn't come from Greenland. They are from other countries, you know, mostly Denmark. Um, I was gonna do a top 10 boys names and girls names, but it will you know, I'm just gonna say it randomly. Um, these are the names that are most common. So let's just start with the girls. And the first one is Kim Nongnak. Kim Nongnak, which means Lincolnberry. You know, that red berry. Yeah. And then um, there's also Sukiningwak, which is actually my niece's name, um, which means little son. So I don't think many people have this name, Sopeningwa. Um, I think there's only like a few people here in Greenland that is named Sopeningwa. Uh, Angnak, which means woman. And then we have Naya, which means a boy's little sister. So this has always confused me a lot when I was little because when I say my little brother in Greenlandic, it is Akkaluga. And if I were a boy and it was my little brother, it would be Nukega. So, you know, it also depends on if you are a girl that has a little brother or if you are a boy who has a little brother. And it's the same um, thing. Like, uh, if I have a big sister, it would be Angayuga. Angayu. But if, if I was a boy and I had a big sister, it would be um Aluka. you know let's just get on and then we have Beningwak which means um, little daughter you know my little daughter Beningwak Beningwak yeah and then we have Tupangnak which means time uh it's the spice um time yeah, and then we have uilok, which means clam or muscle. Not muscle, like I have any muscle. <laughs> but you know, a muscle, a clam, you know, that's what it means, uilok. And then we have ulu. And I don't know, I don't really know many people named ulu. Mostly it's like ululi nengwak. And then they have their nickname as ulu. Um, and that means Inuit knife for woman. I will show you here. I think I'll make a video about that in another, another, you know, another time. The last name that I picked for this list is Nasungwak, which means little flower. So that was the girls' names and their meanings. And then we moved over to the boys. And the first name of this is Nukengwak. So Nukengwak can mean a boy's little brother or a girl's little sister. Okay. Then we have Abutiak, which is snowflake. Mm -hmm. Then we have Agudak. Um, Agudak means someone who is mixed. And I looked this up on the vocabulary do you call that yeah vocabulary and it just said someone blonde with light eyes you know and then we have Angut which is a really common name also and it is it just means 
man. And then we have Akkaluk, which is a girl's little brother. So my little brother, he is my Akkalu. And I am his Adaka, which is also a name that is very common here in Greenland. Adaka. I hope it's not hard to understand. Okay, and we have Pilutak, which means leaf. What was that? Did you hear that? I don't know. Well, Pilutak means leaf. And then we have Malik, which means wave. And then we have Akisyak, which is a bird, a grouse, which we also eat on holidays. And then we have Aningak, which is the moon. And the last name is Inuk, which means human. It's actually a really common name also here, Inuk. So yeah, that was it. It's just a quick video, you know. It's not really in the mood lately to make videos. I know I told you I was gonna make a lot of videos now that I have time, but a lot of things happened in a very short period of time, so I'm not at my best. But you know, I know my motivation for making videos or my will to make videos <laughs> will come again sometime soon. Um, so yeah have a great day and i'll see you in my next video bye bye